So Singapore is known for being quite an expensive destination to visit. So today we're going to see if we can experience this city on a budget. and Mandy. We're digital nomads currently traveling the world in search of somewhere we can call our forever home. We just spent the last month in Vietnam and have just arrived in Singapore for a few days to see if this city really is as expensive as they say or if you can travel here on a budget. Still part of the airport, I think. Yeah. Um, there's hotels here. It's every shop you can think of. Like we just wasted all day yesterday going to shopping malls and trying to find clothes when we could have just come here. This has to be the only airport that's actually like in full swing. Like feels like back to normal, in my opinion. Oh cool, there's a um, grab set up just there. Took us a while to figure out how to get out of here, but it's pretty magnificent. I'm very hungry, want to see what all the hype is about uh, food in Singapore. rubbish out of place. It is so clean. <laughs> the buildings are like perfect. Everything just looks so tidy. So we couldn't check in yet. Got about an hour till check in. We didn't have to go far though because right below the hostel we're staying at it's Hawker Chan and it's the cheapest Michelin star awarded uh, food chain in the world. It's got some chicken and noodles. <laughs> uh, not too bad. About seven bucks each. Nice handproof curtain. Guys, we're just going to take a really quick break to thank today's video sponsor, PaySend. PaySend is a next generation money transfer platform that helps you send money to over 100 countries worldwide direct from your credit card. It's a really fast and easy way to send money securely to loved ones across the world at a fixed and very low price. PaySend has made sending international transfers as easy as ordering a cab or a pizza through an app. Uh, we actually use PaySend because we have relatives and friends friends back home who we often send money to. My sister's currently looking after our dog Bear, so we send her money from time to time. We also outsource uh, some of our work for our businesses and PaySend lets us transfer money instantly to people who are working for us and they receive the money immediately. So one of the benefits of PaySend is they actually use a fixed fee. They display the rate, the transfer fee and receivable amount before you even transfer the money. So you know exactly what you're transferring. They also offer global 24 seven support. So you never feel worried that if something goes wrong that you're left alone and 
without your money or someone doesn't receive it. Hey Send is currently trusted by over 5 million people, so you know that it's good. If you are interested in trying Hey Send for yourself, click the link down below and use code Lloyd Mandy because for your first three transactions, you won't get charged any fees at all. And with that being said, let's get back to the video. All right, we made it. Got to our hostel and um, we actually had to do a ton of work. We're in the process of um, hiring some help, some editors and assistants, but yeah, we just seem to have so much work on. Every, every time we go somewhere, we spend the first few hours working. So um, it's like eight o'clock and we're just scared going out for dinner now. Yeah, the vlogs, like, it'll still predominantly be me doing the editing, but then this way I can actually, or we can spend a bit more time soaking in the places that we're actually in yeah. and spend more time on researching the good places to go and that sort of stuff just because the, yeah the editing's taking out most of our time <laughs> yeah and do a bit more planning like i have no idea what singapore is about luckily we got so many dms and comments from people locals and people who've been here recommended a lot of stuff so at the moment we're headed to a place called maxwell center yeah i don't know it's like a food court area i suppose in chinatown yeah we're gonna go check that out and grab some dinner and then we'll see where it goes from there so far so good chinatown looks pretty cool our hostel i'm not in love with it <laughs> um but it's all good like it, it is what it is but it was advertised as like a soundproofed cube yeah. right yeah yeah um, it's not the biggest like the communal room is soundproofed, apparently, um, but there's just a curtain in front of our bed and then everything else. So you can hear everyone else in the communal bedroom and there's a lot of other beds in there. So thank goodness we're only staying there for one night. That was a little bit disappointing, but we're doing it's Singapore on a budget. Pretty much the only thing you, place you can stay on a budget. If you want to spend under $100, which is about what ours cost, 100 bucks, you have to stay in a hostel um, and they're usually these cube hostels. I don't know, we'll see. It might be alright. We're only here, we're only staying at this one for one night and then we're moving to another one, so we'll see how that goes. It'll be okay. Very, very good. Pretty good. I managed to not get any of it on my 
new white shirt. So. <laughs> Usually we're covered in food by the end. We were very careful. <laughs> we probably looked a bit funny the way that we were eating to not ruin right. our new clothing. <laughs> yeah. Maxwell Center is about a five minute walk from actual Chinatown. So we're just heading back towards Chinatown now to see if we can find somewhere just to have a drink. Um, and just go for a little walk around and see what it's all about at night time. It looks pretty cool. I'm, ex I'm also excited to see it during the day. The buildings are beautiful. Everything, again, is just so clean. <laughs> Still cheap places in Singapore to go and eat and drink, so we're gonna go find uh, somewhere to have one more beer that isn't as expensive as that, hopefully cheaper. And hopefully it still has a good vibe. Yeah. So you probably know by now Mandy has slight anxiety. One of her biggest anxieties is getting up to go to the toilet. So she asked me to find the toilet first. Um, so I'm going to tell you now how to get to the toilet. Go to the bar, there's a no entry sign. Walk past the first no entry sign. Then there's three more no entry signs. Walk through that, turn right, there's a door that says no entry on it, and there's a mixed toilet. I think I'll just hold it. But we got a private suite room, so like we can kind of have our own room, which is a lot better. Um, straight away, the aircon is a lot better, so I think we're going to have a good sleep tonight, thank God. Yeah, and it's very quiet, which is nice, and it's in a really good area. Yeah. Um, we're quite hungry again, though, now that we've just checked in. Um, we're going to head towards a place called Little India. Yeah. Uh, so we're just going to jump in and grab and go check that out. Yeah, I'm keen for a curry.
it's in, is it, what was this place called? India Street? Little India. In Little India. It has a really cool balcony overlooking the rest of the, the street. It actually does feel like India has been dropped into Singapore. It's really cool. I thought we were, I thought it was just going to be just like a maybe a few Indian restaurants. I'm not sure what to expect, but it's yeah. Even the buildings, everything looks like India. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm not quite sure what we just ordered. We could have got butter chicken, but he showed us this like almost like a platter that has a bunch of different stuff on it, and there's like a veg curry and roti. I don't even know what else is on it, but <laughs> we'll just try it. Yeah. I think it should be good. So we just got our platters and they're actually awesome. We've got a little bit of everything and it's almost all you can eat. You can eat as much of this stuff as you want, which is dull and I can't remember the name of any of these ones. It's like curries. <laughs> yeah, a yeah. bunch of curries. Um, we've got sambal here as well. You can eat as much as you want of that and he'll keep bringing it to you. Um, the only thing he won't bring you more of is the naan, I guess, or the roti bread type of stuff. <laughs> but this looks really good and it smells amazing. This is awesome, but I just had to ask him if I was eating it right. Because I don't know. <laughs> so many different that. things here, I'm just dipping one by one. Everything's spicy, which is awesome. This is my kind of eat. I've never done this sort of Indian food. Usually I'll just like order a butter chicken or a masala or something. This I'm is awesome. Really happy we tried something new. This is so good. All right, that was so delicious. I don't know if it's just because we're eating at sort of a weird time and pretty early, but this place definitely deserves to be busier. So we will leave it in the description uh, if you're interested in eating here, definitely. And we will leave the name of this meal as well, which we're gonna ask again because we can't remember. Uh, but it was all you can eat for around just under $12. Just so good, and you guys try a bunch of different things, and it was delicious. So, yeah, we'll leave it in the description if you're interested in trying this place while you're in Singapore. I wish you could add smells to YouTube videos because it smells really nice here <laughs> at the moment. This most beautiful incense burning. Wouldn't that be so cool if you guys could actually experience the smell of a place with us <laughs> while we're here? So we're just going to try and jump on the MRT, the train system. We're going to go down to the riverfront in Clark Key because supposedly that's the spot at night and it's uh, getting pretty close to sunset. So Thanks to you guys for telling us. Yeah, we're going to go check it out. Hopefully it's not too hard to figure out the train system. happy that we got that MRT card because it was five dollars to get the card and then they uploaded five dollars onto each one and it only cost us 95 cents to get to Clark Key from where we were which is pretty good I think I think that's what happened yeah <laughs> we could be wrong <laughs> uh, I also we, ate way too much Indian food <laughs> we're trying to walk it off <laughs> I think we got left here okay Lots of rules in Singapore so far. You take a drink and lower your mask for too long or film like I'm doing now. Someone tells you to put your mask back up. No chewing gum. It's a little bit strict for my liking in that way, if I'm being honest. waiting for the sun to set just watching the boats go by it's really beautiful just waiting for the lights to light up there's so many other people sitting on the side here waiting for the sun to go down 
All right, just finished watching the sunset on the river. Now we're heading to a place called Haji Lane to see if we can find a cheap beer there. The MRT doesn't actually go to Haji Lane, um, which is pretty much where we're staying anyway. So we're gonna get a grab and it's about 10 bucks. This is probably, this is the third grab we've taken now and all of them have been $10. Feels like almost everywhere in Singapore is a $10 grab right away. Which isn't too bad, I guess. Hold on, baby, I don't dance. But how I love to be around you. I'm not scared to take a chance. Yeah, I'm so happy that I found you. And you know, and you know that I'm yours, so right. have spent more money than obviously we ha did in every other country we've been to in Southeast Asia so far but we have been able to go out to eat for every meal yeah still enjoy ourselves find cheaper options and we've been staying in two good areas yeah tourist areas I reckon it's gonna end up being about a hundred dollars Aussie each per day that includes accommodation food transport everything which that's less than what I thought it would be Pretty much a street food food court. Um, Same as the other ones that we visited. Yeah, and so we've eaten a few meals there. It's probably the best option if you are here on a budget. This one we've been recommended. And there's a few dishes that we were told we need to try, including chicken rice. Yeah. Which seems just like chicken and rice to me, but there must be something else. But that's the one that's had all the crazy cues at all the other ones that we've been to so far. So we probably should try it. Uh, and there's also an accidental Singapore noodle that we were told to try at this particular hawker center. And it's only a five minute walk from the pod where we're staying, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, where we're staying is actually probably one of the best areas I think you can stay. There's so much to do. It's so easy to walk around, to go to so many different places to eat and drink and shop. So. 
Yeah. We'll put a link in the description down below. Yeah. Okay, so the accidental Singapore noodles that we came here to look for, apparently they've shut down, they're not here anymore. But we've just stumbled on to the wonton noodles. It's just so good and it's so cheap. It's like three dollars per serve. So we're gonna get to try that. This is sort of the same as the other hawker center that we went to. A lot of these stalls are shut. We're not sure if it's because of COVID or because we're here at nighttime and it's mostly lunch thing. But um, yeah, there's a lot of things shut down. Um, but this, we just found a lady here that sells huge tiger beers for six dollars fifty. So that's pretty good for the two of us. That's the cheapest we've found so far. So one time noodle soup, spicy. It's got, it looks like jalapenos and chili peppers in it. And pork, maybe. Wonton soup, noodles, veggies. This is what we're recommended. It looks pretty good. So, you can definitely do Singapore on a budget, but if you want to do it properly, I think you want a little bit more money. Yeah, I mean, we did it pretty cheap. And we ate some really good food and we even went out for beers but I think we'd be dishonest if we were saying that we didn't need more money to actually experience a lot more like there's a lot more places you can go and a lot of the bars and restaurants are quite expensive so while you can definitely come here on a budget for a few days I would recommend doing it but if you have more money you're definitely gonna have a better time yeah, but I think we did it the cheapest way possible and still enjoyed ourselves as much as we could. Uh, but yeah, like Lloyd said, probably a better place to come with a bigger budget. Also, I mean, we're here, we have to work as well. So it's not like we were just exploring the city 24-7. Um, we yeah. had a lot of downtime at our hostel, which we had to do a lot of work. So we probably, we had so many recommendations from people and things to do and places to go. Unfortunately, we couldn't do them all, but I think we hit the good ones. Um, the thing that stood out to me was just all the different ethnicities and the different food here. Yeah. Like, there's really everything here. I think Singapore is like a foodie's heaven. Yeah, and shopping. Shopping and food is the thing to do here. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you feel like we missed anything or something you would recommend, maybe you're from Singapore, something you would recommend for other tourists coming here that's affordable thing to do, fire them down in the comments. We would love to know. We will be back. Really enjoyed our time. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you're new here. We upload every other day entertaining and helpful travel content. So we hope to see you guys again. Thank you so much and we will see you in the next one. Bye.